knew that this day was coming for quite some time. And in that time, I tried to uh, mentally prepare myself for this occasion. And I thought I had, but now that it's arrived, um, well, to be perfectly honest, I am I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I'm overwhelmed personally, and I'm overwhelmed, a little overwhelmed, to, uh, to see that all of you are here to help celebrate today's big event, uh, today's grand occasion, the 68th anniversary of Bing Crosby and the Ken Darby Singers recording the best-selling Christmas single of all time. That's, of course, Irving Berlin's White Christmas. But the anniversary of this landmark recording in the history of the Great American Songbook coincides with a, a landmark event. And one of the most beautiful events that I've ever had the honor of, of witnessing. Uh, the trio set up on time. <laughs> But of course, that landmark event coincides with yet another landmark event. Uh, the one that I'm pretty sure we're all here for. Although I think my dad's here to watch the band. But the rest of us, <laughs> I think we're here to celebrate the marriage of my big brother Jeremy to someone who I can now officially call my big sister, Rebecca. Uh, I can't go another word, uh, not a word further, without just saying that today you look uh, beautiful. Well, you look beautiful every day I see you, but today you look stunningly beautiful. Yeah. Don't you think so? And Jeremy, today with your new suit and your shirt and tie coordinated and nice pocket square. <laughs> You, you look like a guy sitting next to someone who is stunningly beautiful. <laughs> but uh, I, I digress. Um, so uh, Jeremy asked me, his little brother, uh, to be his best man. And when he called me for the gig, um, I was honored, of course. But even more than being honored, I was uh, relieved because Everyone knows that if the groom has a brother, and that brother isn't currently serving hard time, or, or schizophrenic, or uh, heavily self-medicated, or a racist, or a fascist, or a nudist, or a fan of the music of Yanni, then uh, that brother is the first person to be considered for the role of best man. Uh, not necessarily chosen, but considered. So for me to know that Jeremy considered and then chose me, what it means to me uh, is that I've fooled him into thinking that I'm not a racist, a fascist, or a nudist. But it also means to me that I've been a, a good enough younger brother to warrant the honor. And if that's the case, it's because of Jeremy. It, it's because he uh, taught me, by example, what it means to be a good person. And he taught me what it means to have compassion. Uh, perhaps more importantly than that, uh, Jeremy taught me what it means to use the toilet. Uh, Jeremy potty trained me, and the way he did it was he, he put me on the toilet, and he sat next to me in a little chair, and... Uh, now, this did not happen today. This was uh, many, uh, many months ago. But, but he sat next to me, and he he would read me stories, things like uh, where the wild things are. And often nothing would happen, and we'd try again the next day, and he put me back on the toilet, and he sat next to me. And, and eventually, he read me enough stories, or, or the right story, and I, um, I, I, I did my business. Uh, we found it exactly where the wild things were. Uh, and this 
made Jeremy so excited that it made me excited and it made me do even more business. And Jeremy did such a fantastic job with me that, that these days I don't even need him to read these stories in order to do my business. Uh, please hold your applause, thank you. But, but, if to this day I still needed Jeremy to read these stories, that he would do it. Because uh, that's the kind of person he is. Um, uh, family's always first. And uh, I, I mentioned this, uh, Becca, just to reconfirm what you already know. And that's that you, uh, you made a great choice. Because uh, I don't know anyone who is, who is kinder or... Mm -hmm. more, more genuinely understanding than Jeremy. And, and it's wonderful to... It's wonderful to be married to someone like that. It, it's a little hard for me at times being born into a family with someone like this because I know that even on my best day, even on my nicest day, compared to Jeremy, I still end up coming across like a, a slightly more compassionate version of Mussolini. <laughs> but uh, I'm okay with this because I, uh, I get to have Jeremy as a brother. And to know that he's always going to be there with me. Well, and I know how rare that is to have an apartment. It's um. It's, it's as rare as the love that I see Jeremy and Becca have for each other. And Becca, you, you made my brother. Happier than I've ever seen him. And today, the, the two of you look happier together than I've ever seen two people look without the help of narcotics. <laughs> and I just love you both so much that if there ever comes a time in your lives when you need someone to read you storybooks in order to do your business, <laughs> just give me a call. And uh, at this point, I would like everyone to please raise your glasses. And I'd like to propose a toast to St. Crosby. <laughs> to Irving Berlin. To the very responsible band that we have here today. But most importantly, to Jeremy and to Becca. And to the beautiful life we're going to have together. To Jeremy and Becca. <laughs> <laughs>